if you want to know which one you should choose. The thing I would probably go off of is that multipeptide serum does have a little bit of clinical data where they do mention that they did see significant benefits in skin smoothing, firmness, and wrinkles. It's a very general claim. So that's the one thing where I was like, just keep that in mind. But it does have some sort of data, whereas the copper peptide one, I didn't see all that much there. Gloria, how do you feel about copper peptides knowing what we know? <laughs> that's one I'm just like trying to protect. I don't see the questions because I don't love it. It's a very, very, very fussy ingredient. Even in the supplier data, going from different ingredient suppliers, their suggestions around formulation are also different. So that yes. also bothers me. Is like mm -hmm. why one supplier will <clears throat> say, you know, don't formulate this laundry list of stuff with copper peptide. And another one, we've, we've definitely encountered those that are also like Much confident and whatever. Wish. You know, it has such a long history, but the data is just so wishy-washy. And it's probably because of this. It's probably because of this sensitivity and this lack of understanding around how to handle this molecule.